In this case, we are given a smooth uh, sphere A of mass 2m. Uh, I, I better write that down before I forgot the mass of object A. So mass of A is equal to 2m, uh, whereby the mass of B is uh, m. Yeah. So mass of A, mass of B. Now, uh, object A is moving at 4 meter per second, whereas object B is moving at 2 meter per second. Now, the directions of their initial velocity was given as for object A is moving uh, at um, an angle 45 degree to the horizontal, whereby uh, object B is moving at 90 degree angle to the line of the center as shown in the picture for the before sorry before the collision and then um, coefficient of restitution is given as 0 0.6 uh, first question we are asked to draw or sketch the diagram how the collisions before and after impact uh, this is how it should look like um, here we are just making assumptions the final uh, component of the horizontal velocity is given by u for a okay so this is the final uh, horizontal component for a whereas the horizontal component after collisions for b is given by v object b right so we are done with question one uh, shouldn't be a problem now next based on the diagram we are going to analyze more what could be your velocity after the impact. Now, as usual, we're going to apply both uh, the principle conservation of momentum and uh, Newton restitution's law. Now, in this case, I will not uh, write down the name again. I'll just uh, make a small remark here. C O M, conservation of momentum, uh, by concentrating on our analysis based on the horizontal impact. So we have here. Um, now don't forget the mass, their mass are different. So we have 2m4 cos 45 degree. Okay, and then um, now there is no horizontal component um, <coughs> for object B. So we, we can actually write it down uh, just to show the uh, conservation of momentum, which is zero here. And then it should be the same as 2m uh, u plus m v here right now by simplifying uh, we know that uh, cos 45 is basically one set two so in this case uh, we will get um, two set two so that is uh, four set two here so we will get two v that's uh, right no it's not two v two u okay so let me change that two u plus v is equal to uh, four set two here. So four set two. Let me check whether that is correct. A uh, one set two, and then that will be a two set two two. Yeah, correct. So it's a four set two. Now that will be our first equation. Then next we're going to apply uh, Newton restitution's law. Uh, the same. We will focus on the horizontal component during the impact. So from here we will get our serve v minus u will be the same as uh, the coefficient of restitutions uh, multiplied by, we are only interested in the horizontal component of their velocity. So that will be 4 cos 45. Um, subtract off with the initial, which is 0. Uh, so from here, we can simplify that as uh, now 4 cos 45, that will give us a 2 set 2. So 2 set 2 multiplied with 0 0.6, uh, that will be 1.2 set 2. Now that will be our second equation. Right. <clears throat> so by solving, so in this case, we can actually solve it. So solve equation 1 and equation 2. So by solving, we can have, uh, in this case, I will have u uh, equal to uh, 5.2 in this case let me see we will subtract that we have 3 uh, okay 
to subtract that, you have 2.8. So it's actually 2.8 sub 2 divided by 3. Now that will be the horizontal component of A after impact, meter per second. And then by um, putting this back into either one of this equation, we will be able to get the final velocity of uh, object B in this case. And that will be, uh, let me see, that will be um, add up together. So 3.6, okay, 3.6, that will be uh, 6.4. So it will be 6.4 divided by 3, set 2 meter per second. Alright, now we have managed to answer questions number two. Uh, finding the velocity of the two sphere after impact. Now bear in mind, don't just uh, stop um, stop your answer up to here. You should write down velocity of um, A after impact is, okay, object after impact will be given by rather use VA uh, vector format so that would be a U which is 2.8 divided by 3 sub 2 and then uh, its vertical component will still remain the same which is actually 2 sub 2 in this case right. whereas velocity of B after impact is given by B. Now for B, we have the uh, horizontal component which is 6.3 sub 2 and then the vertical component uh, would still be the same in this case. Uh, the vertical component will be uh, 2. Oh yeah, I think I uh, made one mistake here. Uh, due to the directions of the vertical component of the velocity, uh, I, I should be using negative instead because it's going down. So you might have to be uh, careful with the sign itself. So there's a negative there. In terms of speed, you can figure out the speed by using Pythagoras theorem. And then in terms of the speed of B, you can also apply uh, Pythagoras theorem on this. So that is uh, question two. Right? So we're going to, uh, I'm going to erase off uh, all this, and then, uh, yeah. and then I'm going to proceed on with the last question. Calculate the loss in kinetic energy um, sustained by the system during the impact. Okay, so let's do that. <coughs> I'm going to leave part of this answer here for my reference. Okay, so number three. Uh, we get to calculate the speed, the speed for A after the impact. So the speed of A, speed of A is equal to, uh, in this case, is speed of A. Uh, speed of A will be 2.8 over 3, so 2 square plus the uh, negative 2, 2, so 2 square square root right now that will be the speed of a after impact right. and then uh, whereas the speed of b after impact will be here uh, just let me finish off there so two square plus two square square root right now I'm going to erase uh, all this section out. I'm going to take out my calculator or my GeoGebra here to help me with the calculations. Okay, hold on, just let me get a new one. It'll be much more easier to calculate in this case. Okay, that's the smallest I can get. <coughs> okay, so let's uh, key in this as let me try it out. So that is uh, actually 2.8 divided by 3 square root. So multiply with square root of uh, 
two. Okay, and then we have the next one as a two square root two square root of two. Okay, so it's basically a square plus b square. Uh, we need to square root the answer for this, which is c. Uh, now that will give us uh, three point one two. Now the speed of a after collision is three point one two meter per second. Now we're going to try out for uh, b now. So b is six point four divided by. Okay, I think that the I uh, go back to the previous equation. It'll be easier for me to change here. Yeah? Uh, that will be six point four. 6.4 divided by 3, yes, correct. And then uh, the next one will be here. This is uh, 4. Uh, this, way, this is a 2. And then we apply that here. Okay, let me see. Yes, correct. So I will get 3.62. 3.62. So B as a 2. Uh, square that. Yep, correct. So that will be. 3.62 meter per second. Right. <clears throat> so once I have obtained the speed after the collision, I can calculate the change in kinetic en energy. So change in kinetic energy will be the total kinetic energy after collision, which is uh, 2m for a. So for A is 3.12 square plus M here uh, multiplied by 3.62 square. Right, now that is after collision, total kinetic energy after collision. Subtract off with uh, total kinetic energy before collision. So before collision it is 4 square and then plus half M. Before that, it was 2 square. Right. Uh, so in this case, just uh, let me give that a try. So in this case, we have um, 3.12 square. In this case, we have 3.62 square divided by 2. Uh, minus of, uh, we have here... Um, as 4 square minus of uh, another one which is uh, 2 it will be easier in this case M so just let me try to launch my algebra and then uh, let me try to put in all that value there so you can see what we have so 1.3.12 um, end up with uh, 3.62 square divided by 2 and then subtract off with uh, 18 yeah so I'll get uh, I will I'll be able to obtain negative 1.71 so that is negative 1.71 m uh, joule here now that will be the loss of uh, kinetic energy therefore I can write down uh, loss of Ke, kinetic energy, is 1.71 Joule. Alright, now that's a wrap for question 2.